if you are concerned about being in focus, uh, your f-stop matters, right? So if you are shooting at a two and you're moving around a lot, it's gonna be a lot harder to keep your shot in focus because your depth of field is very, very narrow. A little bit of a cheat is that if you're moving around a lot and you think you're not gonna be able to stay in focus at a two, go to a four or a 5.6, because to me, again, my personal feeling is that I'd rather my scene be in focus and usable than be have a beautiful shallow depth of field, but be completely out of focus, right? So I think your, your skill level as a focus puller matters. If you feel like you are an exceptional focus puller and you can handle a two in circumstances where you're moving, go for it. But if you feel like you cannot, I would say do yourself a favor and until you become a better focus puller, stay at a depth of field that you can manage. And then the other thing I use a lot is peaking for focus. So if I do wanna shoot shallow and I feel like I need some assistance, I turn on my peaking, um, which if you guys have used it or not, it's these like kinda these little red dots that appear on the image. It tells you what's in focus. So for me, what matters is the eyes. So whatever is your principal thing that you are trying to focus on, if it's a, a person, I make sure that those little red dots are on the eyes because that's the most important thing. One thing you have to be careful with with peaking is that you set it at certain levels. And if you set your peaking the wrong way, it could uh, trick you a bit into thinking that everything's in focus and it's not, or the whole screen kind of lights up in red and says like, this is all in focus. So I would definitely recommend playing with it. What I do is like, I'll set the peaking and then I'll turn it on and off and I'll sort of determine how reliable the settings are. Every camera has a different way to set your peaking. So I don't wanna tell you set it at 50 and if you're using a different camera, it's a different level. But I would also recommend whatever model you're using. I often Google Sony FX9 peaking and you, you know, you'll find all the kind of people that geek out on what the right settings are and stuff. And like, you could read message boards and, and give yourself some type of frame of reference of where you should start. But then I also recommend testing it out and making sure that it works for you. But it's definitely something I use a lot now, especially that my eyes are very strained from staring at screens so much. So sometimes, or sometimes your eyes just fatigue after shooting for a long day and you kind of like, I don't know, what's happening and I can't tell if stuff's in focus or not and that really helps get get you through.